Hey guys, welcome to Country Outdoor Summertime. We're actually in Australia where it is winter time and we've been off the grid for a little while bringing this one into the world. So everybody, meet Molly. Yeah, this is Molly, our beautiful little munchkin. Uh, as you can see, we've had good reason to not be in Nashville filming our summer episodes, but we're very lucky that we've had some good buddies step in to film for us. And we've got Brian and Casina in Tennessee with Walker Wilson country artist taking over this week's episode. I hear that they're fishing. Yeah, and Brian is from Team Reed from Alabama, but without Reed, <laughs> he's just Brian, and I don't think he's that good at fishing, so we'll see. Casina, outfish the boys, please. Hey everybody, it's Brian and Casina. We're here in East Tennessee, Delco Lake. About to put the boat in, have a little fun. Took a break from the farm. Zach and Mary are in Australia, about to have their baby any day. And uh, they're, they're a little nervous to just hand the ropes over to us. And we're just goofing off. Team Reed from Alabama Turkey Hunt. Zach and Mary and Will are like goofing off somewhere. <laughs> Team Reed. Team Mullet. Team Mullet, baby. We're laying it down, man. <laughs> We've got a lot going on. Fun weekend plan. Work and farm through the day, but we have some fun planned for tomorrow night. Surprise guest coming over for a bonfire. Do a little fishing later this weekend. This evening we're going to run up the lake, grab some dinner. And any minute now I'm going to throw a casino in the lake. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Made it alive. Considering taking the boat to Australia next. Take a few days. Zach would be impressed. Mary would be shaking her head. We gotta teach her how to use four wheel drive so we don't burn the tires coming out of the water. But we just made it back from dinner. Unfortunately, when you live on a farm, the work don't stop. So we got to head back and got to mow a field, lay some hay down. It's got good weather for the weekend. And uh, we got some fishing lined up for the mornings. Zach and Mary are on the beach in Australia. We're in East Tennessee. Going fishing! Let's go! To them live fishermen, uh, we're looking straight that way. You're catching some bait. Kendra's gonna put us on some strappers here in about seven and a half minutes. Yeah, see if we can catch some, bait's been kind of tough. We'll go up there and try to catch some strappers. And a lot of small mouth catfish are getting pretty good too, so ain't no telling what we'll catch. Yeah, big one. Yep. It's a pretty morning. Yeah, it is. For some reason they like, like we all, I always get under power lines when I go catch bait. For some reason they let They can feel that current or something? Yeah, they can feel it or something and always catch them. They're close to it anyway. These are thread fins. This one right here. We've got three different kinds. We've got gizzard shad, 
uh, thread fins and some LYs. We're just going to pitch these out in the back, control these up through here. There's some rock ledges and some big rocks that these big floodgates move every year. Listen, Edward, do that move in the water and go find big fish. Maybe because we didn't name him, maybe that's why we ain't caught nothing. But he's about to work his magic. Watch this. Yeah. Just catch a big fish. Let it eat you. First one in the boat. Kenjo's driving. I think I got a rock. It'd be nice if it was a fish, but I'm pretty sure it's a rock. It's been a slow morning. We've got a few small ones, but it's starting to pick up a little bit, so we'll just keep going. Maybe move to another spot. on TV, if, if I hang you upside down, you just yell, here fish, yeah. and they'll come right to you, promise. Yep. Guaranteed. That's right. It'll be fun to watch anyway. So we just got back from fishing. We didn't have a whole lot of luck, so we're gonna get some things done around the farm and get ready for tonight. Um, we've got some music and a bonfire, a few friends coming over. A lot of people think that in the summertime, hunting season stops, but this is when the work begins. We've been looking at Onyx and trying to decide where to put our next redneck blind, and we've decided that this is a good spot, so we've got a, a friend clearing some ground and getting us ready to get it set up. Beautiful day, East Tennessee. We just got another field down, about uh, 700 square bells out of this one. We got another 50 acres to go, and then first cutting's almost finished. Everyone's probably wondering, who's Brian Casina? We met Zach and Mary hunting on a place out west, and we've become friends, and they've let us take over for a few days while they're in Australia waiting for the baby. Originally, I'm from upstate New York, and I grew up on a dairy farm, and Casina was born and raised half a mile down the road from this farm. She grew up on a farm. It's what we love to do, but you'll hear Mary crack those Yankee jokes, and they're 100% against me. Our dream is to have an, another farm out west. A place to hunt with Zach and Mary? A better place to hunt. East Tennessee's got hunting, but Not like that. nothing like the Midwest, yeah. so. Yeah, we'll be out there soon, and we've been traveling the country, leasing land, looking for the right spot. Eventually we'll have a we'll find it. nice ranch out there, yeah. Then it will be a competition. I'm not saying it's a competition, but it's kind of a competition. I'm excited for this evening, though. This morning's fishing was a little slow. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a special guest coming, play some music for us. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Where you at, Zach? I'm about to make you dinner. Come over for dinner. What's going on, guys? Walker Wilson here with Country Outdoors. I want to invite you guys to Greenback, Tennessee. This is where I lived a lot of my life. 
We're hanging out tonight at Brian and Casina's farm out here. And here recently I came off of The Voice season 23, Team Blake, shout out. It's kind of given a spike in my career. I've gotten to do a lot of things I haven't been able to do. Travel the country, gone places I've never been. But the best part about coming back home is seeing all your familiar faces, seeing people that knew you way before you ever did anything with music. Most of these people in the background here have known me since I was probably 16 years old or so. So to come back and just chill, I was messing with them earlier because they weren't hooting and hollering like they normally do at the bar. And I was like, guys, this is a back home show. We gotta, we gotta get riled up or something like that. But Nonetheless, it feels great to be out here. Thank you to Country Outdoors. Thank you to Brian at Casino. I couldn't be happier about it. We may not be good at fishing. Ain't no we know how to party. Anyway, I wrote the song called Lucky Guy because all my friends were texting me from here in Nashville and they were like, oh yeah, dude, you're so lucky. You're doing great. And I'm like, dude, I have no money. I just walked to Walmart and bought peanut butter and jelly so that I could eat this week. End up calling dad. I was like, I need like 300 bucks because I don't have, I'm broke as hell. So I wrote the song called Lucky Guy just kind of as a slap back to the voice. Not in a bad way, just kind of like a, here's the reality of what happened while I was out there. from nowhere that I know At least that's what the cowboys say Who the hell can call this place home? And Lord knows I ain't here to stay These hills surround me But they ain't green like a Tennessee And there's people all around me And ain't a damn one talking like me I bet you think I'm a lucky guy And it's looking like that I sure got it made Big time, big shop, barely got enough to keep my bills paid. But you ain't stood bedside watching me fight these demons every night. When a dollar and a dream is the only damn thing that's keeping me alive. Hell yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Morning, everybody. Just hanging out this morning, watching the sun come up, doing our homework. The morning after the, the party, Walker surprised us last night. It was a really good time, good crowd. And this morning we're going over. Uh, I got to leave the country for some work things, and going over where Casino needs to put the redneck blinds. So just using Onyx maps to sort out where exactly we want to put everything and. Uh, Make sure that goes smoothly this week. We're excited to get our third blind in here on the farm. We want to thank Zach and Mary with Country Outdoors for letting us host this weekend. Um, we are ready for them to um, bring back the baby and come back home to the States. Um, season will be here before you know it. Guys, thanks for watching. Brian and Casina, thanks for stepping in. Brian, I wish you were a little bit better at fishing, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe Reed can come show you how to fish. And uh, Walker, thanks for coming out and playing for everybody. Wish we could so have been awesome. there for it. It was awesome. And guys, on next week's episode, we've got our buddies, the Davison Brothers, stepping in in West Virginia. They're going to be doing some hillbilly stuff. So it's going to be great. Y'all check that one out. Thanks and, uh, for watching. We're going to keep you... doing baby stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Store.